The next thing that we'll uh, talk about is a comparison of mixtures that are really closely related to uh, solutions, and those are suspensions and colloids. All right, so we've been talking about solutions so far, and we said those are any um, homogeneous mixture, but a true solution, as it's often called, is because the solute are uh, sort of individual atoms ions or molecules. And it will uh, make sense why uh, we're, we're talking about it in the individual state um, uh, when we talk about uh, colloids. So solutes are individual ions or molecules, not aggregates of ions or molecules, or even atoms, I guess we could think about. Okay, and of course they're homogeneous in mixtures. Uh, solutions, true solutions, um, cannot be separated uh, by filtering or even the use of semi-permeable membranes. The uh, way in which you separate uh, the mixture is another way to distinguish between solutes, suspensions, and colloids, as we will see. Semi-permeable membranes. So there are um, synthetic sem uh, semi-permeable membranes that we can use in the laboratory, and of course uh, your cell, your uh, phospholipid bilayers in your cells also act as semi-permeable membranes uh, a lot of the times. Okay, um, the next one we'll talk about are colloids. Because we're thinking about size scale, they would be next. Uh, the solutes, uh, the particles in a colloid are uh, groups of molecules that are aggregated together. Groups of molecules or ions that are aggregated together or, or in close uh, pulled together by some type of uh, bonding or um, intermolecular forces, uh, more likely. Or another way that uh, colloids can set up is they can either just be really large molecules. Okay, and either of these, or if they're aggregated uh, molecules or large molecules, the size of them uh, is about 1 to 1,000 nanometers, which is 10 to the 9th. Uh, there are 10 to the 9th nanometers in 1 meter. So um, quite large in terms of individual molecules or atoms, but still very small on a very small scale. Um, the other type of sort of mixture that's... Um, Closely related to colloids and solutions are suspensions. And these are very large particles. Of course, greater 1,000 nanometers. These are often um, uh, visible particles. Um, I didn't mention it, but colloids cannot be separated by filtering, but they can be separated by semi-permeable membranes. Uh, suspensions can actually be filtered. And uh, the other uh, big distinction uh, between suspensions versus colloids and solutions is that the particles eventually settle out. Settle out of the solution, and so some examples of you know well of colloids versus suspensions. Uh, colloids uh, would be examples of colloids would be uh, milk. Milk is a perfect example, which is large fat particles, large groups of fat molecules uh, in aqueous uh, solution. Uh, your blood is a colloid. 
And so you can leave milk in the fridge or sitting out and the fat molecules never settle out. Uh, where suspension, the best example uh, of suspension that always comes to my mind is uh, like river water. As long as the river is flowing, all of the dirt uh, particles and other um, suspended particles are uh, being constantly mixed. So they uh, make a pretty much a homogeneous uh, solution. But if you were to leave or pick up some river water in a beaker and leave it sit there for a long time, uh, not not really not really a long time. The solid would eventually fall to the bottom, and so that's what the uh, what I mean by particles settle out is that uh, suspended particles do not remain homogeneous unless they're constantly mixed, whereas particles and colloids stay suspended and homogeneous um, spontaneously, and of course uh, the same thing for solutions as well.